In recent weeks, there have been calls for governments to lift ban on the usual gatherings in churches and mosques. Some believe churches, mosques and other religious centers should do the socially responsible thing and stop the mass gathering of people to reduce the risk of the spreading of COVID-19. Others feel that Christians should continue meeting as a matter of principle and fate as long as the necessary precautions are taken care of. One of the prominent voices opposed to the ban on churches gathering is the presiding bishop of Winners Chapel, David Oyedepo, who questioned the rationale behind leaving churches short while allowing markets to operate for six hours. There is something wrong. For people to be allowed to be in the market for six hours and can't be in church for two hours. Man, it's an upside down way of looking at things. <laughs> Amen. There is more hope for a poor and wise child than for an old foolish king who will no more be admonished. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 13. Better is a poor and a wise child than an old foolish king who will no more be admonished. Which one is more orderly? The market or the church? Another prominent voice is Pastor Chris Oyakilome, the general overseer of Believer's Love World, popularly known as Christ Embassy. So, set up test centers for churches, COVID-19 compliant churches. What they're using to test, do you know what it is? Do you know why it can show positive or negative? Do you know? A virus, they told us they are still studying. They are still studying it. Why don't they study it first? They are still studying it. And they already have a vaccine that could be ready in July. For a virus, they are still studying. To share his views on this development, we are joined by the President, Christian Association of Nigeria, Abuja Chapter, Reverend Dr. Israel Akonji. Thank, Akonji, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Israel Akonji is actually Chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria, North Central. Chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria, North Central. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Now, how would you react to the calls from these prominent uh, religious leaders and others for government to lift the ban on religious gatherings? Thank you very much. Uh, I actually uh, want to say that uh, these uh, religious leaders are very highly respected religious leaders, uh, Bishop uh, Oyedepo and uh, our brother Chris Oyakilomi. They are all very, very highly respected people, highly respected voices, and um, they have uh, spoken uh, through the years on a lot of national issues, and they have been uh, in leadership in the body of Christ. Now, um, concerning COVID-19, I believe that Everyone in the world at this time is experiencing a very strange uh, kind of situation. Those who are in government are experiencing strangeness. Those of us who are in churches are experiencing strangeness. And it is not uh, confined to just one place. It is uh, a kind of difficulty that is uh, global. The whole world is confused. And um, a lot of things will happen that will call for um, moderation. Therefore, I believe it's not a time where we actually want to be talking about a person being right or a person being wrong. It's a time when we need to put our hearts and minds together and uh, come to a consensus that will be most benefiting. Um, the government has said that the places of worship should be locked down still after lifting the uh, lockdown from marketplaces and giving a few hours for markets to meet. And 
definitely the first thing one we ask is uh, that if many people can be in the market, then why can't people be in places of worship, like the church uh, and the mosque? Let me be talking for the two, because I believe that when the government said that the places of worship should be locked, the government was speaking about the two. Uh, well, for the church, where in these two people have spoken, I will uh, just want to say that uh, uh, we should first uh, kind of give the government uh, the benefit of doubt that the government is sincere in taking its time in, uh, in the removal of the lockdown. The lockdown uh, might be a gradual process wherein the government wants to begin with the market and then go to the next place. Probably uh, the uproar that could come with uh, not getting food to eat uh, might be something seen to be more intense and uh, people may not want, uh, the leadership of government may not want people to go out in outrage and uh, mutiny because they are not able to get food to eat. And they feel that the religious places uh, should come next. Uh, probably does that. I want to think that um, we need to exercise some patience. That is what I want to say to the two Christian leaders who have spoken, that uh, probably we should give the government some little time, uh, about another one or two weeks, and uh, then we can, in a unified voice, try to speak on the need for the churches to also be allowed to meet. Even if we are going to begin with uh, a small number of people meeting at uh, short periods until when we can resume our churches back fully. All right, so let, let me interject and ask, because we, we have very... Can you hear me, Reverend? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I, I apologize for um, interjecting, but we're time constrained. So I'll just go ahead and ask you, how has the church been coping with not having the conventional service since the outbreak of COVID-19? Thank you very much. It's been really difficult. It's been quite strange on the church that we are not able to meet because uh, we are used to coming together in accordance with the word of God. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And the word of God says, we should not forsake the assembly of the brethren. So we are working under injunction from the word of God to meet together. However, now that we are not able to meet, um, what we are doing, we are, we are devising means of meeting. A lot of uh, electronic means are being used to be able to reach out. We, we are streaming through Facebook, streaming through YouTube. Uh, messages are going, but the normal fellowship, we have encouraged people to stay back in their homes and uh, enjoy fellowship and, and let the church, become, uh, the home become the church. And I think we are get, making a lot of success with this. Uh, with a little more patience, we believe that the time shall come when all of us will be able to worship together. So the clergy should give some little patience, and uh, we should work in a unified manner with the Christian Association of Nigeria. The Christian Association of Nigeria is very concerned about the opening of the churches too. So um, rather than taking it as individual churches, we should come in a collective manner and uh, let the government know. And I believe that the government will begin to see reason why we should meet uh, uh, in our churches and in other places of worship. All but right. for now, we need some patience. That's all I will say. Thank you very much for joining us on the news and sharing your thoughts.